Why don't you wave your hands unto Jesus and say thank you, Jesus? Wave your hands unto Jesus and give him a shout of praise. I said, give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Scripture declares wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. And this is a great day. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. That you and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Same yesterday, today, and forever. God miraculously.
cut her legs and instantaneously she ra rose up and she was walking this and to the amazing. surprise of the uh, relatives and so for me there's nothing impossible for the Lord to do what You've is seen it? cancer uh, heal exactly exactly this woman was suffering from breast cancer and in Ghana for example is killing a lot of people and this woman uh, has lost hope and she did not know what to do else so she was not a member of our church but somebody told her that if she can come to our service the, the Lord can touch her and when she came we prayed for her and God touched her and she was healed completely she went back to the doctors and he said no they cannot believe their eyes mm. this cannot happen because well, the condition was so uh, hopeless that there was nothing good that can come of, uh, mm. of it but we prayed and God healed her and we she wasn't a member of the church, but now she has become a member of the church because he said if God has healed her in that church, then she needs to be a member and she became converted. She accepted Christ into her life and she's now worshipping with us. Alive and about, kicking. Alive and kicking. Very awesome. strong and it has not come back again. Mm. In fact, when God does anything, he does it with uh, excellence. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and also, um, Tell us about yeah. the boy who was bleeding from the nose. Okay, uh, I was in the, this while well, I was in my house, and in fact, this was a member. Uh, the mother was a member of our church, and all of a sudden, this boy fell unconscious, and she was he was ble bleeding from the nose. So the mother uh, quickly did not know what to do at that time, and he brought the, she brought the child to my house, mm -hmm. and in fact, when it came, the guy was. The boy was on the floor, there was nothing he could do. As soon as I prayed for him, the blood that was oozing out of the nose stopped immediately. And it's like the boy came back from, to himself. Um, back to himself. Wow. And he even asked the mother, Can I get some food to eat instantly? And the mother was saying that, uh, in fact, for some time he was not, wasn't able to eat. But he, the mother was even surprised that the boy was asking for food at that time. Amazing. And in fact, we, we gave him some food to eat. And it was something that was really awesome. We seen how they brought him into the house unconscious and the blood oozing from the nose. And all of a sudden, after the prayers, that he came back alive and kicking. The blood stopped. Uh, the blood stopped. Awesome. And, uh, I even was I myself was even surprised mm. because sometimes uh, what God does amazes me myself. Mm. Like you just open your mouth to decree a word uh, or see what you want to tell God, and instantly the spirit or the presence of God is around immediately to intervene and then heal the person. Mm. That's wonderful. Amazing. Uh, really you know, amazing. one of the, um, the testimonies mm. that you told me that surprised mm. me. Yeah. That the calendar that you had prayed over exactly. was God used that mm. to stop a person from committing suicide. Exactly. Tell me about this that. This man uh, was really struggling in life, was really facing some difficult challenges, and he thought it, that um, he has failed to reconcile with life, so he has to end it all. So he entered into his room right. to rat poison, and he had uh, all of a sudden there was a calendar of our church, and I was on the calendar, but. Uh, what happened that as soon as he decided to drink that rat poison, mm. God used that calendar as a point of contact to speak to him that he should stop and immediately he had a voice from that calendar that stopped what you are doing mm. and he fell on the ground and the rat poison was just on the floor mm -hmm. and then um, he did not commit the suicide again and that spirit of suicide left him immediately. So the next uh, Sunday he came to church and was testifying about what the power of God can do in somebody's life and especially his life. Yeah. Amazing. And, that was and he's doing amazing. well since yes, then. Yes, he's doing well. He's still alive because I'll be buried up to today. But wow. he's still alive. Yeah. You've also seen the hand of God mm. in even giving people husbands. Exactly. There are many people who need a good man, a mm -hmm. good woman. Yeah. And uh, you've prayed and seen God perform some of those miracles. Exactly, exactly. You know, in my church, for example, um, so many times we bless a lot of marriages. People can testify about the miracle power of God. Some people think that it's too late for them, but it's not too late. Mm. Now, there was this Muslim uh, people, even sometimes Muslims even come to fellowship with us mm. because they can testify about the real power of God mm. at work. Wow. And sometimes they ask me that, uh, uh, how can this be? 
and there was this instance this lady that was a muslim in fact she was grown but the men were not proposing to, to her so she found it she was so confused and she came we prayed and now she is wonderfully married to a man and in fact it, it, it amazes a lot of us how god can do and the marriage too is going on smoothly awesome. yeah it's awesome. very powerful you see god instituted marriage mm. so if you need you call upon him and he'll give you one amen, <laughs> amen. Thank you for my advice yeah, right? yeah 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 in so many not alone there have been so many instances there have been so many instances that god intervened and he has been doing that for a lot of people in our church and people around our community and people who are not even a uh, part of the church god is doing that for them it's wonderful in fact when you see how god does it it beats sometimes our imagination yeah we'll go for a break and come back for more of Thank such you. amazing oh, riveting wonderful, testimonies wonderful that's great I can feel the presence of God. That story is powerful. 